Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Kanaba is a Dumbass. <laughs> Actually, welcome to the episode of Kanaba's Adventure. Uh, I say this because I had my video all set and recorded and I noticed my mic wasn't um, positioned, po pos wow, positioned correctly. So, there is video but no audio. So I'm here to do it again. Yes. <laughs> uh, it is raining right now. See, my other episode started out with a very lovely sunrise. This one is all rainy. Depressing. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys, well, this episode is going to be all about Minecraft 1.3 and what to expect in it. The, some of the features, some new stuff that's going to be added, get you guys all caught up so when it comes out, you guys know what's going on. Uh, we also started with this house where I can put all my stuff in. It's going to have this um, floor, one more floor above me, just this right here. This, um, this might come out a little bit over here, like around here. And then a little deck area on the top right there. And then also a basement. We're going to put some stuff in here. Also, at one point, when I start running out of room over there, like in this castle, I want to start digging under and start putting more projects you know, under my castle. So what I'm going to do is I'll have like a little chute a button, piston will come out, and I'll just fall down into like a experimenting area and projects area. So that's what we've been working on. That I didn't record. Okay, so Minecraft 1.3. What is going to be in this? Well, to start out with, they're going to have larger biomes. You can set up. Uh, your games to have large biomes, you can have them converted. But basically, what this entails is that uh, right now, biomes like regular biomes, regular biome. But for large biomes, you take whatever a biome is right now and try multiplying that by around nine ish, I guess, if you want to say, around nine ish. And, uh, that's going to be one biome. It's, they're going to be huge. And within these large biomes, uh, one new feature for uh, jungles is that they're going to have temples, uh, randomly placed temples inside of them, where you can go in there. There's going to be you know mobs, traps, but you can find uh, you can find items, emeralds, and we'll talk about emeralds later. But also, in the jungles, is that there's going to be uh, cocoa beans that um, they spawn on the trees. So that's a whole new way to get cocoa beans other than just, you know, from a rant, hopefully being in a chest, I guess. Uh, cocoa beans will have a new texture. And along with cocoa beans having new texture, so will the uh, gravel. Gravel will have a new texture as well. Mm, trying to decide something. See, I don't want this wall just to go straight up, I think. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to put some windows in first. So, that's for... Uh, That is going to be for uh, mum, 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 jungles. Yes, we're gonna have temples and cocoa beans. What else? Oh, I talked about trip wires. Trip wires are gonna be a new uh, thing you can use for redstone. Uh, kind of self-explanatory, but you know, set up uh, trip wire. When uh, the person runs through the trip wire, that's how it act or the event starts for uh, the redstone. Those are some pretty big windows. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see. 
You shall see. What else? What else? Oh, we can have, uh... You can make it so you can have find bonus chests throughout the game. So there's be randomly placed chests that if you find them, you have some goodies in it. It's kind of a cool feature. It's being added to it. Let's see what else. What else we got going on in the new Minecraft 1.3? Well, there are going to be. Uh, Quills, uh, book and quill. This makes it so you can uh, write stuff in books now. So, like for adventure maps, or you can you know, multiplayer, you can give it to people. But um, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really helpful for uh, adventure maps. So, but what's gonna happen is you um, to make one. It's just uh, you know. A book, a feather, and so an ink sack, and that's how you make the uh, book and quill. And then you write whatever you want to write in it, and then that turns into a written book. And then just take it, you can right-click on it, see what somebody wrote inside of it. That will be cool. Like I said, especially for adventure map people make some stuff easier. Uh, let's see what else what else. Uh dispensers. Um new thing with that is that they will be able to um eject uh water and lava out of them now. Like source blocks. Also, they will be able to dispense uh, minecarts and minecarts and boats. Yes, boats, boats. Um, they'll dispense minecarts onto track, like actually on the track, and boats, like in the water. That will be helpful for some things. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't talk about yet for 1.3 is that um, each wood, like different type of wood, like there's, you know, light, like the medium right here, and then the darkish right here. They were, they're going to all have their own um, stairs now. So... Like right now, if you try and make stairs, I'll show you. Just in case you didn't know. So, say I got this light block right here. Try and make some stairs. They have a, the default, like, um, medium stair um, shade. But, 1.3, they're all going to have their own. So, I was. I was actually working on this beforehand, and I started with this wall. I wanted the walls to be dark, the um, the dark wood, and but I wanted stairs right here. And I was like, I got all the way done. Ooh, thank you. Finally, um, I wanted to have the stairs all the way around it, and I got done with the wall. And I was like, about to put the stairs down, but. <laughs> but you can't do that so yes they're all gonna have their own stairs which would be very nice I was actually debating on whether to uh, hold off on this so I could get I really used all those slabs jeez um yeah I was kinda of debating on whether to uh, continue with this or not but uh Uh, I decided that I needed to get this done, so here we are, making it. need to get it done so I can start on projects. Okay, like I said, this can make a little deck area. And then also we're going to make a another structure over there. And from right here, there's going to be a door that goes across into that structure right there. Things going to look pretty good. 
I need to put a block there. Okay. Yes. So, I'm going to um, keep on building, collect my thoughts for a second. I think that's everything that, like, really noticeable for Minecraft. No, it is not. I did not talk about emeralds and trading yet. But, what I'm going to do is that I am going to uh, sign off for a second, build a little bit, collect my thoughts, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. See you guys in a sec. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, as you can see, I've been building, like I said I was going to. Uh, let's take a look. So, this right here, uh, like this uh, floor and the top floor, just kind of like for looks. There's nothing really special I'm going to do with them that I know of just yet. But it's just going to be like an area. Um, and here is going to have like my bedroom. Uh, fuck a spawn point. Put a bed down in here. And here, I, like a, I don't know, the bathroom, I guess. Even though you don't go to the bathroom this game. I don't know. Maybe try and like make a shower or something. Try to make it look cool. Like an actual house. Don't know yet. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Um, I didn't put any signs up in here because I have no idea what this is going to be. Um, I got a couple rooms right here. And then a deck area. And then this is going to be that little bridge that connects to the other building over here. So yeah, this is what I have been working on. Oh, right, I uh, I tried something new. I don't, I've never seen this before, that people use this for like, walls, I guess. But, um, instead of having just like a plain wall, I wanted to have it, like, I don't want the whole thing to just be, like, look flush. Like, there's just straight up and down, I guess. Like, straight up and down. So, what I did was, I just took stairs, and then placed one, put one under it, from above it, upside down. So I gave, like, an indentation, give it a little bit more character, I think. Uh, I I like it better than it just being straight up. I mean, I you could do something else, but I don't know. I kind of like this. So I'm gonna keep that. Cool. Now, what I was talking about with the emeralds. Emeralds are gonna be a big part of this um, update. It is. I got my diamonds out just to, like pretend that they're emeralds. Uh, emeralds are going to be uh, more rare than diamonds are, and they're going to be used for currency for trading with uh, villagers, the village you, that you find. So, what it is is most likely, I think, how it's going to be is that you, I mean, you will find emeralds while you're mining, but that's not how you're going to really obtain them very much. What's going to happen probably is you're gonna let's go up to this chest right here and see so I mean you can buy stuff and sell stuff to these villagers so say you have a you made an iron plate and you want to go sell it to a villager one second let me see actually what they have right now for that uh, sorry guys <laughs> here we go Okay. So, right now, say you, like I said, you made this, you want to sell it. If you sell one of these to a villager, right now I'd get like maybe 12 to 13 emeralds, about. Like, say this was diamond, you sell this di a diamond chest, um, chest piece, you get like 16 to 18 emeralds. So, it's all about. I mean, this is what this game needed. I mean, for uh, online especially, like uh, a currency system. I, th uh, I know there's mods out there for that, but an actual currency system that's in the game is it's gonna it's gonna change a lot. And also, you can buy stuff from villagers, like food, um, 
armor, I believe, from like the blacksmith and stuff, depending on who you talk to. Uh, also, with emeralds, you can, you can make uh, blocks out of them. I mean, I know this is diamond, just a representation. So, yay, diamonds! Uh, that is emeralds. That's how emeralds are going to work in the game. Like I said, let's reiterate, they're going to be currency. You can uh, find them while you're mining, but they're more rare than these things. Okay, so that is emeralds. And as I was building, I remembered a really other big thing that I forgot. I can't believe I didn't, did not mention this. But also, you're going to get experience for mining. Also, instead of just killing mobs and um, passive animals, you'll get uh, um, EXP from mining like any minerals like coal, uh, iron, diamonds, blah blah blah, anything other than stone and stuff, you'll get experience for. Uh, also, you'll get experience for um, smelting it. So what happens is you put, uh, say you mined this out, and then you wanted to smelt it. So it's smelting right now, and then to get experience from smelting this, wait until it's done, and then you once you grab this out of this container, experience orbs will come out of, um the furnace. So that's how you get experience from that. Uh, hmm. Is that it? I don't think. Oh, no. One more thing. God, I keep on forgetting. It's sorry, it's kinda like popping my head while I'm going along. Um the right now the EXP is max level is fifty I believe and uh... they're um, changing it to thirty once uh... the patch comes out so I have a max level of thirty uh... also with the uh, exp um, they say once you get to a certain point because right now every level is the same when it goes um, when you get experience orbs they're all the same amount but once you start getting to uh, higher levels, the experience will um, they'll take more experience to gain each level. So yes, this is all about um, Minecraft 1.3 patch. Uh, got quite a bit done with the house here. It's gonna look pretty nice. I'm impressed. Uh, I still got to work in the basement here. I didn't do much with this. So yes, I'm excited for the new patch that's about to come. Or when? I, when does it come out? I, hmm, I don't know when it's gonna come out. Sorry, it's probably actually not information. I do not. Uh, I will find out and put it in the description. So, and if it doesn't have a date yet, I'll tell you that it's not a date yet. Anyways. But, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, wow, what was that? What was that? Gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to continue the adventure with me. Can I have a, if you want to, uh, continue with me? Yes. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I came to dig, 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 dig. I'll build a city, oh so big, 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 big. Just wait a sec, gotta kill this.